Russia is building a new but unidentified structure near the Crimean Bridge, Navy spokesperson Dmitry Pletenchuk said on national television. The purpose of the construction is not yet currently known for certain, Pletenchuk said, adding that it is unlikely to be completed this season. It could be a defense structure, it could be another crossing, but it's a bit early to draw conclusions, he added. Construction on the 19-kilometer-long bridge began after the illegal occupation of Crimea in 2014 and was completed in 2018. The bridge connects the Russian mainland with the Russian-occupied Crimean Peninsula and became a critical supply route for Russian forces after the launch of Moscow's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Pletenchuk said that no matter what the structure is, deteriorating weather conditions as winter approaches will make it difficult to complete. They are constantly trying to place something new in the Kerch Strait to build various hydrotechnical or barrier structures. But periodically they end up on the shore after another storm, he said. The bridge was heavily damaged by Ukrainian strikes in October 2022 and July 2023. Following these attacks, Russian proxies further fortified the bridge with underwater barriers. Russian proxy authorities in occupied Crimea regularly shut down traffic on the bridge amid reports of explosions and drone strikes. According to Ukraine's navy, destroying the Crimean bridge now would not have the same effect now because Russia barely uses it for military purposes anymore. Vasil Maliuk, head of the security service of Ukraine, did not rule out that Russia may try to use the structure for weapons supplies again after it is fully restored. The Crimean Bridge is currently the subject of a dispute between Ukraine and Russia at the Permanent Court of Arbitration. Speaking there, Ambassador at Large at the Ukrainian Foreign Ministry, Anton Korinevich, said Russia wants to take the Sea of Azov and Kursk Strait for itself. So it has built a great gate at their entrance to keep international shipping out while allowing small Russian river vessels in. He said, adding, the bridge is unlawful and it must come down. Over the past four months, Russian military forces have experienced the highest levels of casualties since the start of the full-scale invasion in February 2022. Recent reports indicate that Russian casualties, including both wounded and killed soldiers, have averaged over 1,000 per day during this period, the UK Defence Intelligence reports. May 2024 saw the highest daily average with 1,262 casualties. In June and July, these numbers slightly decreased to 1,163 and 1,140 respectively, but the situation escalated again in August with an average of 1,187 casualties per day. As of August 2024, Russia has likely suffered over 610,000 total casualties. This high casualty rate shows no signs of slowing with expectations that the daily average will continue to exceed 1,000 throughout September 2024. Despite the heavy losses, Russian forces are continuing their operations with soldiers being frequently wounded or killed. Several recent journalistic investigations have provided statistics showing that Russia's military have suffered staggering losses since launching its February 2022 full-scale invasion of Ukraine. More than 70,000 people fighting in Russia's military have now died in Ukraine, according to data analyzed by the BBC. And for the first time, volunteers, civilians who joined the army forces after the start of the war, now make up the highest number of people killed on the battlefield since Russia's full-scale invasion began in 2022. Every day, the names of those killed in Ukraine, their obituaries and photographs from their funerals are published across Russia in the media and on social networks. BBC Russian and the independent website Media Zona have collated these names along with names from other open sources, including official reports. New graves in cemeteries have also helped provide the names of soldiers killed in Ukraine. These are usually marked by flags and wreaths sent to the Defence Ministry. 
In late June, independent Russian outlet Important Stories found more than 71,000 Russian men died in the war since February 2022. Based on figures compiled by the Russia's State Statistics Service, the report also found that at least 45,000 Russian soldiers died in Ukraine in 2023 alone. Sergei Krivenko of Moscow-based Citizen Army Law, a human rights group, says Russia's aggressive censoring of stats, along with virtually no remaining independent news outlets, means that the rate of casualties is unlikely to sway popular opinion about the war. Krivenko said that while Russia's enormous losses in Ukraine cannot be hidden, with cemeteries expanding in every Russian city and town, it will not force the Kremlin to change course. They will only turn up patriotic rhetoric more intensely to explain the growing losses, he said. They will repeat that there is a war with the West, so everyone goes to the front, 